So, you just played all 11 of the classic Mega Man games, and you're ready to play the next one. And then you realize there isn't another one. Hello everybody, it's Azazbit here, and I am here to discuss what I believe would be the perfect game for Mega Man 12. So, yes, we're in Paint 3D because I don't really have anything professional. Um, I do have some art linked in the description though. Uh, it'll, it's, it'll be a little weird because I'm not exactly sure how to do it, but um, trust me. So anyways, Mega Man 12, so let's see, me, me, is there a way to type, there's gotta be a way to, is there some, okay, yeah, pulled up text, this will be a lot better, Mega Man, isn't it, it's, it's two words, Mega Man 12, okay, that, Mega Man 12, ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da da ba da da ba da 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 okay, how do I, just select. I just want to select. I don't want to draw. I just want to select. Can I select this? There you go. Same. Mega Man 12. Super cool. Super awesome. Okay, how do I actually draw now? Here we go. Marker. And that's going to go over. That's not what I'm doing. Anyways. So, Mega Man 12, so we're gonna start off with our good old boy, Mega Man, you know, he's just, he's, he's there, he's, okay, this, what? <laughs> Why is he, what is this? Okay, never, never mind, you know, you know, oh, fudge, God. Hold up, hold up, the blue bomber, the, we're, we're just gonna go with, Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm not doing you. What is, dude? I didn't. I let go of the mouse. I swear, I, dude. Mega Man. I'm so sorry. Anyways, so we have Mega Man. He's here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Mega Mega Man is here. He's got his gun. And he's got it. Okay. Hey. He's a bit mad. Hey, no he's not, no he's not. He's not mad. We have Mega Man here. On the select screen, we're gonna have three characters. You might already know who these three characters are. <laughs> you might, you might already know who these three characters are. It's Mega Man, Proto Man. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Proto Man. We gotta give him that little scarf, you know. This is so bad! And then finally... Dude, I swear my mouth- why is my mouse messing up? And then we finally have- it, Why is it messing up so badly? We finally have base. Gosh, his hand has been crucified. Like, what the heck is that? So, with our three characters to select from, uh, they each have their own stories. I'm not entirely sure what their stories individually would be. Oh no, that's not. I wanted to select. So we. Oh, oh, Fudge. Uh, no, 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 no. So we have. Can I please just do this for once? We got. Um, we're taking a bit of Proto Man out of here. I apologize, Proto Man. Can I? Oh no! Oh no! Bring it back. So we have our three characters: Proto Man, Base, and Mega Man, obviously. So this is the select screen. You're able to choose. This video is probably going to be very unprofessional. I apologize, you know. <laughs> but yes. You're gonna have from three characters to choose from. You're gonna have a uh, different difficulty selects. I'm thinking you're gonna have easy, normal, difficult, or not difficult, hard, and then probably very hard. Or not very hard, I would say hero. Hero mode, superhero mode maybe. But the thing is, is that, um, 
based on who you choose, you're going to have like a different story. So it's going to kind of be like Shovel Knight, like the sh different Shovel Knight games. If any of you guys who are watching know what that is, it's going to be kind of like that. So if you choose, well, I guess I got to explain what the story is. So the villain of the game, you might be thinking, oh, it's Dr. Wily. It's, oh, it's Dr. Wily. Oh, no, it's... Is 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 Doctor is Doctor Wily? Oh no, that's not a good skull. Is Doctor Wily? Oh no, he back again. Oh no, but the truth is, is it's not. It's not Doctor Wily. In fact, if my mouse would stop messing up, it's actually someone a bit different. That's supposed to be an arm. Mouse. Like I let go and it's like no. Dude, okay. This is not a very good representation at all. Like I said, I have art linked into the description. But here we have the real villain of the game. And his name Big Big Dramatic it's Okay, where's the text? I'm trying to type here. Can I do I have to matter of fact 3D text? He's the big villain of the game. This doesn't look 3D. It's Volt. Okay. Volt. Yes, I know. Very incredible. Very amazing. I mean, look at that. Volt. I know, it's crazy. And yes, that's a zero, not, not an O. Because it's cool. It's hip. Anyways. And you might be wondering, what happened to Wily? Did Wily turn good? Is Wily dead? Wrong and wrong. Wily, I'm not entirely sure. Just Wily is kind of in the background. He's not really present. I was thinking maybe Wily would be in prison, even though I'm pretty sure that already happened in one of the games. I know at the end of one of the games he gets sent to prison. I think Mega Man 7 he gets sent to. No. Mega Man 6. Five or six, he gets sent to prison at the end of the game. But um, the thing is, is that in this game, he would actually be like in prison for like the whole game. So, and what this character is, Volt, he is an AI. I mean, I understand that all of the Mega Man robot masters and all that are AI, but Volt is a special kind of AI because he is an adaptive AI. He he essentially has watched Dr. Wily through all of the years. He has seen all of his plans, all of his works, all of his greatnesses, and all of his failures. All of his victories and failures and whatnot, even though he hasn't really had any victories. But, you know, he's seen all of that, and he's learned, and he has sort of adapted in a way. And so he has come up with the perfect plan. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this perfect plan is, but there are eight robot masters once again. And these eight robot masters are, I actually have them written, Phoenix Man, which is good against Iceberg Man, because I never, because fire is good against ice, let's be honest. Like, in all the Mega Man games, it's like, no, ice beats fire. That's not true. That's just not true. Iceberg Man is good against Cyborg Man. Cyborg Man is good against Demolition Man. Demolition Man is good against Boulder Man. Boulder Man is good against Bolt Man. Bolt Man is good against Shock Man, which is good against Serpent Man, which is good against Phoenix Man. So it wraps around. And like I said, I have the Robot Master's design, Robot Master designs down in the description. Go check them out. I mean, I, I worked on them. Um, I think they look pretty good, pretty decent. And I will say the design for Cyborg Man is it's the worst design out of all of them. It doesn't look that good. And the reason why I feel like it look it, it, it's weird is because it looks kind of like a human, but that's supposed to be the point because it's supposed to be Cyborg Man. And you might be thinking, well, who's the human? The thing is, is that it's not a human. None of it is human. None of Cyborg Man is, is actually a human. Cyborg Man and all of the other AIs, all of the other Robot Masters, they are essentially a part of Volt. 
also a part of this adaptive AI in a way. So Volt has kind of like taken some of his adaptive AI and has put it into these robot masters that he has made himself. However, because he's only put a part of that adaptive AI inside, uh, these robot masters kind of, they're, they're different from one another. So Cyborg Man essentially believes that he is actually part human, even though he's not. But that, that's his whole thing. He actually believes that he's part human. And when I say bolt man, I mean like bolt cutters, not like bolt as in fast. So yeah, fire, good against ice, which is good against robotics, because I would say iceberg man is good against cyborg man, because if cyborg man genuinely believes that he is a part human, then he reacts to the cold from iceberg man, which I mean you could argue he would react to fire, but whatever. I mean, maybe there could be multiple weaknesses, I don't know. And then robotics, good against bomb, you know, he'd be able to defuse the bomb, cut the wires and whatnot. Bomb, good against rock, rock, good against cut, cut, good against electricity, electricity, good against water, water, good against fire, it loops around. And I'll have that, like I said, all in the description. And so, as Mega Man, it is your job to defeat Volt as, you know, the main villain, um go through these robot masters, beat Volt, you know. Proto Man, uh, you are doing the same thing as Mega Man, except for you're trying to essentially... You're trying to kind of prove yourself. To prove that you can actually do what Mega Man can do. To You know, because Proto Man is the original, but time and time again he has been beaten by Mega Man, you know. And shown that Mega Man is somewhat better. So, as Proto Man... You will, um, your objective is obviously to defeat Volt, defeat all the Robot Masters, but to his story is that he's trying to prove not only to himself, but to everyone that he can be better than Mega Man, that he, he can prove to himself, you know, that he can do what Mega Man can do. And then finally as base, your objective, actually, matter of fact, let me get some of that purple action in. He's got like a bit of purple. I'm, I'm doing this off of memory too, so like... Doesn't he also have, like, some yellow as well? He's got, like, some weird bendy head thing going on. <laughs> some weird bendy action. Okay, I'm sorry, Bass. But, and then as Bass, Bass was made by Dr. Wily. So Bass is evil, essentially. He's bad. He is Mega Man's rival, I would say. So... Uh, Bass's objective is to try and beat Volt, and you might be like, why? You know, they both work for Dr. Wily. Well, here's the thing. Uh, because of the rivalry between, you know, Bass and Mega Man, he wants to be the one to take down Mega Man. So if Bolt does that, if Bolt is the one to take down Mega Man, who, like, Bass won't be able to. So Bass wants to stop Volt to prove not only that he's stronger than Volt, a stronger rival to Mega Man than Volt, but he wants to be able to take down Mega Man himself. And, yeah, that's kind of their story motives. Eventually, all of their stories are going to come together in the middle. Uh, there's going to be an item shop for each of these characters that's going to be... Uh, some of the items are going to be unique to the characters, and, you know, there's going to be, like, certain item combinations that you can get that's... It's going to really make the game replayable. The Robot Masters are going to have voice lines. Uh, this is going to be in 3D, by the way. I mean, like, as you can see right here with this vault. Hmm. <laughs> the, the, I get fan art? Is it fan art? I guess it's fan art. The art that I did for this, the concept art, the, the fan art that I did for it, um, is not in 3D because I can't do 3D art. I mean, maybe I could make this 3D. How do I make this 3D? Boom! Boom! It's in 3D now. See? This is perfect. Actually, is it, I'm pretty sure there's a way I can use like a 3D brush, right? Well, I don't want to dwell on that. I don't want to waste too much time. But anyways, yeah, ro the characters like Roll and stuff are going to be in the game. Roll, Auto, Rush, Beat, Eddie, they're going to be in the game, you know? Like, that's just... You know, Mega Man is going to be able to slide and charge his shot. Uh, Proto Man is going to have his shield, so that's going to give him a bit more of an advantage. Uh, and Base is going to be able to... 
I feel like as a main gimmick, he's going to be able to fuse with Treble and sort of be able to have a jetpack in a way. Like, he's going to be able to sort of uh, fly upwards and then glide. And he's going to be able to shoot in... You're going to be able to direct where he shoots. But he's not going to be able to charge. So it's going to be very similar to... Their play styles are going to be very similar to Mega Man 10. I'm trying to think of what else. Because, I mean, I guess this is kind of short right now. I mean, what else is there that I need to touch on? I mean, of course, you have the levels leading up to Dr... Not Dr. Wily, my bad. <laughs> Volt. But the thing is, is like... I don't really know exactly what those bosses would be, what the levels are going to be like. I don't have any music or anything. I just have ideas. If And if any of y'all see any of this and you like what you see, uh, d go ahead and make... Like, if you like, if you go down in the description and you see the Robot Master art and you like the concept, but maybe you want to tweak it a little, maybe you want to do something yourself, go ahead. Like, by all means. Like, and, like... By all means, I would love to see that stuff. I would love to see something better than what I did, honestly. Like, that would be amazing. What else would be good? Oh my gosh, I didn't know I could... Dang, you know? Okay, it's different. It's crazy. Uh, what else? I mean, I guess, yeah, there's gonna be different endings based on who you play... I'm thinking, actually, I just thought of this. Maybe if you play as Mega Man, the final boss is gonna be base. If you play as Proto Man, actually, if you play as Mega Man, you're first going to fight, after you're defeating Volt, you're gonna fight Proto Man, and then you're gonna fight base. If you play as Proto Man, after defeating Volt, you're first gonna battle against Base, and then you're gonna fight against Mega Man. If you choose Base, then after defeating Volt, you're first gonna battle Proto Man, and then you're gonna fight Mega Man. So it is a little bit different. Uh, because, you know, because Mega Man wants, because Base would still be the villain, the main villain, like after Volt is gone, Base would be really the only villain standing. And I guess that kind of, now that I think about it, like, after all of this, what would be of Dr. Wily? I guess I didn't really think about that. Dr. Wily would, um... I mean, Dr. Wily, he would be... I'm not, I mean, I, I'm assuming there would still be a to-be-continued kind of thing, you know, because money and they want to make another game, a 13th game, but... Wily would, like, break out of jail or something. I mean, hold up. Can I draw Dr. Wily? Let's see if I remember. He's got a nose. That's probably not his nose. He's got a mustache. And it's like a beard. He's got, like, a, a, a chin. A thick chin. And oh, Gosh, this is bad. You know what? I'm gonna delete the channel. That was awful. Anyways. This is pretty much it. I mean... This is Mega Man 12. I, I know that this is not a lot, but it's a starting point. I mean, I know that people have made fan games and whatnot, Mega Man fan games. So if if someone's watching this and they want to use this for like a concept idea, like at any part of this, any part of this, for some sort of concept idea for a fan game, Mega fan made Mega Man game, fan, Mega Man fan game. Or if, I doubt anyone official is going to see this, but like, if they do, and they like the idea, go ahead, by all means. If you like any of this stuff, go ahead, use it for reference. I don't mind, I, like I said, I would love to see something, some, something real out of this, you know what I mean? And I know that a lot of people would disagree on a lot of this stuff. Like, I got a comment uh, on my 
Mega Man, my classic Mega Man series tier list, and someone said that um, they disapproved of the fact that I had ranked Mega Man 2 so lowly. And I mean, that's a, and I've gotten more dislikes on that video than likes at this point, which. I mean, but that's the thing. You're not going to expect everyone to agree with you. That's the thing. We have to be able to communicate with one another about our differences, about our uh, difference in beliefs and whatnot, because that's how we find a, a middle ground. That's how we agree. And this right here, this is just my opinion. Like, obviously, none of you guys have to agree with this. This is just what I feel like would be the perfect Mega Man 12 game, or just the perfect Mega Man game. Like, not only does it have a new villain, which keeps things more interesting, uh, it has multiple characters to select from, which uh, and multiple difficulties, meaning more replayability, including all the different items that you can get, uh, more replayability. I would also say after you beat the game, maybe there should be some post-game content, uh, including new items in the shop. Uh, just to sort of mess around and have fun with, kind of like how they did in Mega Man 11. That would be nice. That would keep players playing the game, you know. But anyways, yeah, this is pretty much the main idea. Um, like I said, please check the description. I know it's gonna look kind of sketchy. I'm not entirely sure how to get a link from an image, so it's I mean, I tried it. I, there's this website. Uh, it's like a converter. It's it's gonna be a long link, but it's an image. Trust me. Okay, it's an image. Just copy it and paste it for all of them. Um, and yeah. So I mean, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. But thanks for watching if you've made it this far. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye.